Hello, hello. You have found your way to the Brevis Talk podcast, where our message is eternal, but our delivery isn't quite that long. Brief and encouraging. That's our goal. Now, here's your host, Pastor Wayne Whiteside. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 tells us, But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others with no hope. Today, December the 14th, is always a difficult day for me and my family. It was three years ago today that our dear Tyler went home to be with the Lord. We grieve and we will grieve over his death until the end of our days. But we do not grieve as many grieve. Our grief is a grief which has much hope and confidence. The text that I read at the beginning of this podcast speaks of those who grieve with no hope. That is the tragedy of tragedies. Let me share a few thoughts about dying in the Christian. First of all, numerous times in the New Testament, we see death being described as falling asleep. For a Christian to die is to fall asleep in this life and to awaken in the presence of Jesus and all of the brothers and sisters in Christ who proceeded in death. The Greek word used for death here is asleep or to lie down. The same word, which would later become the word cemetery, means a sleeping place. Let me use three marks of punctuation to illustrate death and the believer in Christ. First, a period. That speaks of a certain finality and therefore does not describe the Christian death. Death is not the end of the life for the Christian. It is only the beginning. And a question mark would be highly inaccurate also to use because there is no question about where a departed person in Jesus Christ is presently. Second Corinthians chapter 5 tells us, To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I don't believe in soul sleep because the Bible does not teach that a person is sleeping, their spirit is sleeping in the grave. You remember Jesus said to the dying thief, who was to one side of him, when he called on Christ to remember him, Jesus said to him, Today you will be with me in paradise. And so when a believer passes from this life, the sunset of this life is the sunrise of a new life. And we have a no-so faith. That's why we couldn't use a question mark. 1 John chapter 5 tells us these things have been written that you may know you have eternal life. The preceding verses tell us that that life is in God's Son, Jesus Christ. He that has a Son has life. And so what punctuation mark would I deem is most appropriate and accurate in defining death and the Christian Well, that would be the comma. For you see, a comma denotes that there is a pause, but then a continuation picks up afterward. To die in this life in Jesus is but a momentary pause. And so when you attend a funeral for a departed brother or sister in Christ, you are not going there to say goodbye but rather, I'll see you later. So my heart and the hearts of my family members is that we will see our precious Tyler soon, and the best is yet to come. God bless you. Thanks for stopping by to be with us at the Brevis Talk Podcast. 
If you want to know more about us or hear other brief messages, go to BreakfastTalk.com and sign up to receive our blog and updates while you're there. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. <laughs>